Ultra B, Doorstop was actually on like the left side. Yes, exactly. And then got hit to the right and got killed. Like that's wild. He literally took a play out of Rob's book. And speaking of Rob, here we go. Ape it Man, get things started. Oh. All right, so wait, yeah, okay. We're you like good. you see the respect in that Neutral B? He was like, Nah, I saw what you just did. Yeah, yeah. I know this is dangerous now. <laughs> Dies at zero from Neutral B. Right. Really. He's like, Ah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't think you died anything from Neutral B. Okay, Neutral B out of shield there. Or Hysterica. Oh man, but we got the combos on deck for Rob. Yeah, he went really low for that side with that uh, side B. No substantial punish necessarily, but he decided to just opt and just get the ledge trap set up going again. And honestly, I don't care who you are. That is really hard to deal with. Yeah, and like we said earlier, if Mist gets back in the grands, we're probably going to see the Zelda game one. Because, yeah, that's what uh, I figured. That was the closest. Oh, man. The gyro <laughs> into the up smash. You don't, cannot stand up into that move. Don't go to the light. You can't do it. The light. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. Don't go to the light. Stay away. Stay away. Come back to me, Zelda. <laughs> Oh, another side be coming out. You know what? Honestly, not a bad option if he chose a burst option to just like land on top of him with. I like, I love, I respect the option right there so hard to be like, oh, yeah. you know what? If you're going to go for some wild stuff, so am I with this dare. Yeah. Uh, power spot lightning kick. Oh, and the up air to boot. Wow, Jesus. that up air almost killing Ape Man at 108 after the hit. Oh, trying to get an out shield lightning kick. Not going to quite work out here. And Ape Man kind of running away with this game number one, the up air. Yo, that was sick. Landing on the platform to continue that string and kill so early. Dying at only, like, what was he at, like 74, 75-ish? Oh, yeah. That's brutal. Yeah. Oh, but we got the kicks on deck, and it is going to kill cross stage. Hysterica getting on the board here. I never noticed how good Rob was on the stage. But man, oh, man. That is something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah, for sure. And there's that neutral beat getting a nice. uh, miss out of that sticky situation. Nice. Seeing some more neutral exchanges come through, but Mist is just so far down a percent. And Ape Man is doing a really good job of trapping him with these gyro. Even though, even though now like Mist has it, like yeah. it's just, he's just left in like a lot of really weird positions where he's like, should I try to punish this? Should I not? The Ape Man is like, while you're thinking about all that, here's these nares, here's up airs. Exactly. The oh, back air. there's the back air to seal it out. Two stock here for AMG 8-Bit Man. Yeah, he did amazing that first game. Miss is just totally left out of options. What I love so much is there was so much pressure coming from both sides of the shield, and all of it seemed like relatively safe. Yeah. That was rough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, of course, Ape Man coming from South Florida, mm -hmm. first seed of this tournament, doing a very, very good job. And Miserica coming from Indiana. Yeah. Both these players looking tired, but being hungry, but looking tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all Look, right. He's so wiping the sleep out of his eyes like, all right, game one. Game one, <laughs> game it. one. You got it. You got it. So... I wonder, I mean, I, I feel like you kind of just stick it out with Zelda. It's like almost your comfort. It's pretty it's much your biggest comfort pick, and you're playing for like a lot of money. There is a uh, minimal $5,000 pot here that these exactly. players are playing for. And with so. the interest that we were had, we were pushing like over 6K, honestly. So yeah. There's a lot going on in this top eight. All right, so Battlefield will be the pick here. Big damage here, 13%. Yeah, and that jab uh, is like crazy good. Especially and I, when you have Knight behind you. Yeah. Oh, bait. oh, yeah, I mean, 8-Bit just staying really, really safe, throwing out these uh, grounded tilts and have to go right into that neutral B. Whoa, that's crazy. So he used neutral B to, like, try to, like, combo break, and 8-Bit Man just ignored it. It was like, nah, I'm going to win today. I'm going to keep swinging on through, and, of course, the lasers. And, honestly, we, we haven't seen Mysterica set up too much phantoms in neutral. Wow. There hasn't been any time. Now you got to air dodge in. Smart stuff still, and makes it back to the stage from the depths of heck. Yeah, and that, that was really smart. I really like the angle that Mist went for, like straight up, but it was like kind of shifted to the right a little bit, mm -hmm. so Mist could overshoot it. Oh, no! He went deep trying to get the edge guard, but he didn't get the down air. I think a back air might have sealed him and like possibly spiked him into the stage, but just wasn't ready. But the back throw, no, not going to do it. Again, wow, Ape so Man good. is a man with very, very good DI. Yeah, and we've seen that like, all day. That was so close. Okay, but this up throw should do the trick here, especially with the platform assist. And now 8-Bit Man is going to take that first stock to see if Mysterica can fire back. Exactly. Gyro is so good. So, like, again, we're talking about how Mysterica has all these like, crazy ledge traps, but because he can't set up Phantom because of Knight and Gyro, he's just getting back to the stage for free, like, almost every time. And that's where a lot of his uh, damage comes from. So 8-Bit Man actually tried to punish with the uh, the Gyro throw out of shield. Yo. Oh, but no, no, you're good. He won't but, do another one. Okay, I thought he was going to do another one. But Mist actually low profiled it because of the landing lag animation from Fair being like Zelda on the ground. It's pretty funny. All right, Gyro on the ledge again. This time he's able to get past it with neutral B. All right, now we're starting to see that really good DI come out. Yeah, yep. going all the way to the top right corner. Yep. 
Ooh, up tilt, very lingering uh, hitbox there, and a combo starter for yeah. Mist, getting a lot of damage off that. Here comes the pressure on the platforms. Yeah, if your spacing is good, you can combo with pretty much any of her aerials, but you can definitely uh, chain it to the lightning kick specifically. Ooh, right there, really good stuff. Mist didn't wait too long and just rolled. Just didn't let 8 bit set up that ledge trap situation. A trade here. Also, you know what's interesting about this? I'm pretty sure these two teams together, didn't they? Yes. The they did. So yeah. So now they got they won doubles and here they are in grand final. So all of their dreams came true with this tournament. Yeah, exactly. And right now, Aven Man, his uh, his dream definitely really coming true here for singles bracket at least. Oh yeah. Because uh, he's uh, up another stock here and he's already up 1-0 in this set. Oh. That was a godlike warp though, keeping the pressure yeah. going. I like the option. So he threw Knight out, tried to bait him into the roll with that grab. Yeah. Abit Man was kind of left with nowhere to go. If he can take this stock, he can really, really start to shift things back in his favor. Oh. Great parry on the neutral air, but whips the punish. Yeah, that was so close. But up be off the top. There we go. Miss Erica. And you know what? We've seen so many of we've seen so many of those connect raw. We haven't seen him actually get them like straight up like that, like yeah. out of shield. Yeah. Boom. 35% here just off of that one throw and one aerial, man. The damage output on this princess is insane. It's so wild. Oh, great DI coming out for Miss. I think she's better than Link. <laughs> and we saw Ape Man going for that the entire set, and he finally got it. Uh, and that's why Miss was actually positioning the uppies, like, not directly to the ledge, but, like, by the ledge for enough for a snap after, but, like, kind of faded back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The one time Miss doesn't do that, gets flamed up from the down air. And it's, it's a hard two frame to get, but boy, did he just get it. Gosh. <laughs> All Ooh, right, hey, Ape Man looks like he just lost, man. You up too, bro? What song is he oh, listening to? Yes. <laughs> look at look how funky that song has to be. Look at that face. You know what? That is the beat drop from Kendrick Lamar's DNA. That's what that is. When the first time you like, <laughs> that's what that face is right there. He is feeling that song. Oh man! But of course, Ape Man got the heart of the competitor, man. He, he wants to go in, wants to take this tournament home, and he's up 2-0 right now, doing a really great job. So wait, did you asked me earlier, do you think I do I think that Zelda's better than Link? I'm curious, yeah. I, I actually I think Link's better than Zelda. I think it's really, really close. I, I couldn't call it, but it's, okay. it's definitely it's definitely a conversation that you can like. I definitely think out. it's a conversation. Yeah. All right, so. Ooh, good parry. Mm. Okay, doesn't get the lightning kick. He texts on the platform, but Mysterica can definitely use that information for later. Whoa, air dodge passed. That was so that was smart. smart. Yeah, because Mysterica positioned Zelda right next to the ledge too, which is uh, right. you know where where Zelda wants to be for the ledge trap. Yeah, and by not shielding it and just going past it, he got a way he got way more mileage out. Yeah, it, it's so cool that we're seeing so many different applications, like even being like six months into the game, just really goes to show how underdeveloped the meta is and how much mo much more like room the game has for growth. Yeah, and that's why I really love Smash Ultimate. If you ask 10 people the best character in the game, you're gonna get seven different answers. Here. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, there, <laughs> I Whoa. always like to say there's like, there's 15 top five characters. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I 100% I agree with you. And you know what, neither of these are them. And here yeah. they are in Grand. Yeah, both these characters proving to be very, very strong. Really wow. smart delay by 8-Bit Man, too. Yeah. It looked like he was sharking, trying to back air him into the stage. He just floated as slow as he could, avoided the night ledge trap, too, and made it back. Yeah, and right, 8-Bit. Oh, there's the forward smash, though. Miss taking the first stock here in this game number three. There's a reflect. Wow, but the laser actually bouncing the gyro back. Here we go again. And, oh, he was a little bit early for the up air. We got the traps, though. Up air. Oh, the delay. He's two for two. Missed. Hit this man, get some extra credit. Okay, okay, okay. No, <laughs> a lot of chances there. That's actually the first time I've seen him miss that not only once, but twice this entire weekend. Oh yeah, and that, that was just such great, like mash delay mix up from Miss. Yeah, great adaptation. Either way, Ape Man's still gonna start taking the lead back. Uh, really shutting her Ooh. down with these Nair into Gyro Nair. Beautiful yeah. combos. <gasps> oh. And the dare, jeez. Dunk after dunk, 8-Bit Man showing that he is wanting to win. He wants to take this tournament home, and he doesn't want to drop a set while doing it. No. Right now, misses on tournament life. And we got another big combo coming out. Lightning Kick going to break up the Ooh. pressure, though. Mm, I like that. Going uh, like the cross-up Nair and like comp trying to combo off of that as well. So, so swag. How are you going to trap him at the ledge? Going for the down tilt, and then reads the roll for a back throw. Man, this is playing really well, but 8-Bit Man is just getting a ton out of these conversions. I really, it just, it feels so hard because Mist can't even abuse the knight in some ledge trap situation. Exactly. Because Ape Man can just burn double jump, throw out the laser, and that is where Zelda really gets a lot of... And on the like, contrary, oh these ledge traps, as we're seeing, have been his downfall. Exactly. And I, I just feel like Ape Man was able to set up his setup game and Mist wasn't. And that's just really, really great stuff coming out from Ape Man, abusing the, the things that his character ha has to counteract that. And he's just going to take...
this whole tournament home, not dropping a single set. Yeah, what a clean not tournament one set. for Apen, man. Did he drop any games? He dropped any games? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. I, I, I don't, don't know think he, he didn't drop a single game in top eight, I believe. I'm gonna ask him. Did you like? Did you play this whole tourney perfect? Yeah. <laughs> did you drop zero? Yo, eight bit man. His his diddy was looking clean too. Yo, I, right? I, I I I like low key wanted to see more of his diddy because his diddy was really fun to watch as mm -hmm. well in a uh, Smash Four. He, he dropped was. a game to Komodo. He Komodo. dropped one game to Komodo, aka every top player's villain. <laughs> he is so good about these upsets. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember uh, back at Frostbite, before Komodo and Void had to play, Void said to somebody out loud, see me in an upset threat. Because he knows that Komodo is just so good about, like, he's just 